Hello, thinkers. Remember the spider robot we built in a previous video? It has eight degrees of freedom, and we wrote a software capable to make it walk. But today, we're exploring a new idea. Our agent, the ant, starts clueless. No idea how to walk. But through trial and error, it slowly figures it out. Today, we will focus on Policy Gradient, is a reinforcement learning method where the agent directly learns a policy, basically a set of rules for choosing actions. The idea is to tweak the policy in the direction that increases rewards over time. To keep things simple, we'll use a linear policy, which means the action is calculated with a straightforward formula based on the input state. No deep neural networks here. We see that each action the agent takes is calculated as a weighted sum of the input state features. In other words, every action output depends linearly on the state variables, combined using a set of weights. These weights are the parameters of the policy. The same idea can be written as a matrix multiplication. All the actions can be computed at once by multiplying a weight matrix with the input state vector. This means we have a very simple neural network with no hidden layers, just a direct connection from inputs to outputs. This policy is stochastic, which means it does not always produce the exact same action for the same state. Instead, the policy outputs the mean of a normal distribution, and the final action is sampled from that distribution. This adds randomness and allows the agent to explore different possibilities. The small diagram at the top right shows this idea visually, with input nodes directly connected to output nodes. The weights are initialized randomly at the beginning. Then, during training, we adjust these weights using the vanilla policy gradient method. This means we estimate how changing each weight affects the total reward and we update them to increase the expected reward. At first, it struggles, falling, twitching, making random moves. But over time, by optimizing the policy, it starts making meaningful progress. Let's speed this up and see the improvement. With each update, the ant refines its movement, taking more stable and efficient steps. Eventually, it learns to walk, in real robotics, this is much more difficult because we have access to less information. That's why in the simulation, we only use eight of the 27 state variables as input. In the real world, sensors and environmental noise make learning harder. In the next video, I'll show how to port this into a real robotic environment. Stay tuned.